How's it going, folks? My name's Stephen Wolf. Welcome back to Let's Play Daymare 1998. Today, we're starting back up with parts 10 and possibly 11 or 12 of the game. <clears throat> I'm not sure how much further we have in the game. We're on the last chapter. They're showing testing rooms, and we're with Raven again. We might revisit Sam. I have no idea. But I feel like we're right near the end of the game. Encouraged by the revelation that Sandman is still alive, Raven must now go to the rooftop helipad of the dam, where he can finally reunite with the Major and escape from the city of death once and for all. To do so, however, he must first gain entry to the upper floors, where countless infected may be lurking in a great foreboding maze of tunnels. The risk is especially high, but there is no alternative for him to reach his destination in time. And we had killed a big chap. There was a dead caster type. I really don't appreciate how the game will turn off your flashlight. Oh, they got MP5s and shotguns. Looks like he sacrificed himself with a grenade to take out this monster. I mean, that's good to know. All it takes is a grenade. <laughs> Alright, let's check our inventory before we get rolling. We've got three, four, fifty-three handgun rounds. Two spare deagle rounds. Forty-one shotgun rounds. A good chunk of healing items. Ooh, game audio is a little loud. And full health, somehow. Alright. Which way do I need to go? There might be a doorway to the right. There's an empty hall back that away with a blocked doorway, so we need to loot that. Okay. Treatment room. Quarantine protocol activated. I need the supervisor key card. Great. Okay. 
Extreme Emergency, running the report about the potentially harmful contact of a high-ranking officer. Person in question revealed during an informal encounter that he planned to betray the company and hand over sensitive materials to a rival due to personal reasons, which also, if extremely serious and understandable, are not justifiable compared to the severe consequences. A person very dear to him with extreme reluctance and sadness. I therefore find myself today having to report that, also if I'm talking about professional person, respected colleague who loyally served, yada yada, even if it's someone I've been close to for a very long time, I have a moral responsibility to report acts that pose a potential threat to the company. Uh, bunch of shit, bunch of shit, bunch of shit. Got the supervisor's ID. Hey, we found the loading screen. Rather imposing electron microscope. Alright. So what is this? Alright, we can't combine that with anything. And load bearing ID card. Maybe. Maintenance fats. What the hell is this goopy shit? Not you. looks like an arena. Those are flashing. Okay. Yeah, this is an arena. Yeah, we got a scientist. Oh, jeez. Hold on. It's alright. It's alright. Someone texted me. What the hell defense protocol? What am I missing? Whatever. <sighs> Shit. 
Wow, I'm glad that wasn't a fucking snake. Holy shit. Alright. Yacht. So are we being exposed to this shit? Like, what the fuck is this? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. They gave me a magazine of ammo? going in a boss fight. Oh, God. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and, the, and we got a checkpoint. Oh, fuck. Hey, you! Damn! You should be in there! Hey, what the hell? Let me out now! I tried knocking. Wah, look behind you. Hang in there, hang in there. It's going to take me a few minutes to unlock. I'll do my best to get you out, but you've got to hold that monster off. Can you hear me? Hold that goddamn thing off. A few minutes? I don't think I have a few seconds. You're big. Oh shit, he runs. Whoa! Oh, great, he spits. Oh. <laughs> Alright, first death of the game. Fantastic. Joy. Apparently the explosive barrels are an equal opportunity problem causer. Do you really want to skip all of our hard work? Yes. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Cardio. So does he ever, like, stop running?
that can't be right. Yep. <clears throat> Didn't think so. I'm running out of barrels, Doc. Really? I wasn't that close to the blast. So, how am I supposed to... Am I just supposed to ammo dump into this guy? Because that seems a bit heavy-handed. One. Start running. I think he's hurt. I can't tell. And I don't know what the big electric switch is, but... Oh god, he hyped himself up. What?! Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding. Game crashed. All right, I think I'm supposed to use the big electric toy toy, but the cage area is tiny, and I know I, I have no idea if he'll actually run over it. So I think after hitting him twice with the big barrels, I need to shoot him with the deagle while he's over the center, which will knock him down, hit the button, problem fucking solved. I hope. I fucking hope. But I have no idea if that's actually gonna kill it. Ugh.
Yeah, because he seems to be doing just fine. He hypes himself up, and I don't know if, like... Walk towards me. Can't lead a target. Don't run. Fuck you. He's taking less damage this time. Oh, 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 oh. Apparently that was the right move. Shotgun ammo. Really. Let's go, Doc. You said a few minutes. I did something right, apparently. Yeah, I don't feel as safe using the shotgun. And I'm out of deagle ammo. And I think I'm out of explosive barrels. Yep. Why do you have a second face on your shoulder? Ow, oh, fuck you. Well, at least I can trick him. Oh, oh, oh. I think I got it. Yeah, bitch! Got you, fucker. Please die, please die. I don't know if he's dead. 
I, I genuinely can't tell if he's dead. He might be dead! Oh, thank God. Okay. I'm out of Deagle ammo. Good amount of shotgun ammo. Handgun ammo. Also, my flashlight was off this whole time. Cricket. And now I'm wondering if there was an easier way to do all of that. <sighs> Fuck me. Whammies. Sup, asshole. <laughs> Christ. I thought you were going to die in there. It's me too. Mr. Mason. Dr. Mason. I work, or rather, I used to work in the treatment room. What was that thing? One of your lab rats gone wild? Well, you should know, of course. That thing is, or better yet, was one of yours. One of mine? What the hell is that supposed to mean? The CSR 03s your unit was transporting last night spread to the city, wiping out the entire population of Kingside. Each afflicted subject reacted differently to the effects of the toxin. As a matter of fact, the leak was so prolific that it even reached the dam, trapping many of Hexacore's own and transforming them into ungodly monsters. Because clearly, Raven hasn't been Prior reading the documents. The members of Haiti stationed there were administered an experimental additive that increases both physical and mental capabilities. And as a side effect, it seems to have generated <coughs> some rather unusual varieties of form when combined with the toxin. Cut the bullshit. I've put down some of those Haiti things already, and they're completely different from what you don't get it. Not long ago, an Alpha team was called out to extract a survivor from your team. Meaning what exactly? By the time Alpha team arrived, something had literally torn the survivor to shreds. Liev. Oh no. <gasps> Bioscanners indicated the formation of some genetic mutation. An anomaly. That's why the Big Shots ordered them to recover the specimen for analysts back at HQ. But what they found was something nobody expected. Both Castor and Pollux flourishing in harmony. That's Liev? Agents had twisted together in some ungodly perversion that gave birth to something new. Wait, are you saying that that <laughs> out there is Liev? Oh my god. Where did he go? How the hell did he get loose? I know it. Shit. We're so busy exposition dumping. But there's no stopping him. Don't you understand? the hell out of here, boy! But you don't have to. Listen, I'll buy you enough time to get to the helipad. Then, I'm gonna bomb this damn place. It's just down there. Now go! Look. There isn't any other way! Go on! Get out of here! Oh, dear. There's no time left. I have to reach the helipad immediately. Ugh. <laughs> Shave and a haircut. Yikes. He's very dead. He was a researcher. Yeah, was. Emphasis on was. Oh boy, save terminal. So, following Resident Evil tropes, um... This is the last section of the game. <laughs> uh... Yeah, we have a good chunk of ammo. I don't know if I'm going to need the hack tool. 
I kind of wish I hadn't wasted all that Desert Eagle ammo on the fucker. <clears throat> Great. Alright, we're gonna need health items. So we've got two regular stims, one super stim, an RX stim. We should probably grab a stamina stim. I have an additive. Yeah. So what am I doing? Additive, stamina. <clears throat> Alright. Cool. We have a super stam. Faster reload speeds. Precision targeting. Oh, that's a mental stim. Okay. Oh, that's just an EpiPen. <laughs> Shit. Um, fucked, I'm 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 fucked. Alright. <clears throat> Great. 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 I, I don't... I don't know if I'm going to make it through the next area, and that's not a good thing to say. Like... Oh, hey, I got the last... Oh, fuck you. Cool. Um... Here we go. I think we're near the end of the game. I think. Fuck you. Really? So, we're probably going to be running from dudes and Leah this whole time. Oh, really? We're just going to sashay into the room. I don't know if he's still alive. the handgun ammo, I don't know. That should have killed you. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding. God damn it, this thing's unstoppable. I gotta get out of here. Are those barrels? Are those barrels? Escape, Liev. Great. Nope, those are not explosive barrels. All right. Uh, 
Uh, I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked, I'm fucked. Oh, that's rude. All right, big guy. Come on. Come on. Take your time. If you start running, I'm going to have issues with you. I want you to know that. Really? Ow. All right, so this sucks. <laughs> so don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. All right, here's what I'm going to do to try and buy myself as much time as possible. God damn it, this thing's unstoppable. I got to get out of here immediately. I'm going to run to the far end of this hallway and draw him back towards me. Why is everyone texting me today? Sorry, everyone is texting me today, right as I'm in the middle of a friggin' boss fight. Lord. Alright. I feel like that's close enough for my tastes. And I hate this little hacking thing. Okay, okay. W, D, W, W, D, W. I, I should... Might have lured him far away. I may have lured him far enough away. D D A D S A A W. Oh, fuck you, man. Oh, shit. Hi. Nope. Oh, bullshit. <sighs> so how am I supposed to get past this, huh? Because <sighs> he doesn't have a wind-up animation. Like, this is some pretty heavy-handed bullshit. It doesn't have a wind-up. It just gets you. Its hitbox is fuzzy. God damn it, this thing's unstoppable. I gotta get out of here immediately. And apparently my initial plan 
did fucking wonders because I got through the first two-ish, three-ish doors before having an issue. So there's that. I'm going to lure him to this side because that's the closest first barrel. It's like playing chicken. Yeah, his hitbox is ridiculous. Alright, 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 alright. W, A, W, A, S, W. Fuck you. Come on. D, W, S, S, A, D, S. Alright. Lure him to this side. So I'm pretty sure at some point he's going to start running. And I don't know what the radius is on the explosives. But I got a bunch of them. So that's good. Where the fuck is he? Oh, there he is. He's taking his time. Cool. It's like he's almost too far away, which is appreciated. As soon as he's on the lighting of the floor. A, S, A, D, S, D, A, D. Come on, you son of a bitch. They're giving me a lot of barrels. What bullshit are you up to? I'm screwed. I'm dead. Yeah, um... Oh, really? Really? Fuck you, man. Alright. He tuckered himself out. Oh, joy. Can I? Maybe. 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 No! Bullshit! Alright, so when I get to the big hallway, with the several explosives, hit the elevator, run back, stun the shit out of him. This mission sucks!
Ah, I'm all twitchy from adrenaline. Ugh. Fuck. Ah, okay. <sighs> count four, inhale, count four, exhale. How is someone supposed to be able to do this on their first try? Like, how am I supposed to... How would I have known to do all of this shit on the first attempt? I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. Um... Alright, thinking about the situation logically... He gets notably stunned for an extended period of time from the explosive barrels. We're dealing with an S-shaped corridor, one really long, one slightly long, one very short. Estimation, we had two explosive barrels at the first intersection, two at the second intersection, three at the third intersection... Along the fourth hallway, there was another three, and along the last stretch, there were two-ish. <clears throat> Knowing that... I think he, I'm not sure if he started running after I had opened the second door, or the third door, or after I had started blowing him up. But in the first attempt... When I'd opened the third door, he started running. So let's assume for a second that the third he runs at the third door no matter what. All right. <clears throat> so my initial idea is solid. Uh, lure him all the way to the end of the hallway. Sprint to the quick time doors, which is a stupid mechanic, by the way. Get to the third door. Shoot the first zombie. Stun him with a barrel. Okay. I need to at least stun him twice or three times. I'm going to run out of barrels. No, hold on. Because if I can stun him twice, there's the spitter on that tower. There's the, the melted spitter in the wall. There's the one walker in the hallway. There's the two others. It's possible that I would be able to go back and forth down the hallway, stunning him the entire time. But it's going to suck. Christ. All right, here we go. Fucking Okay, wow, his hitbox is shit. Fuck you. So there's no squeaking past him. He'll just instantly get you. Fucking bullshit. Alright. So his hitbox is one kilometer approximately. Fantastic. Get out of here immediately. Fantastic. At least on the bright side, he doesn't start running on a timer. So I will say there is that very, very, very narrow bright side. Unless I just jinxed myself and he does in fact run on a timer. In which case, fuck the developers.
he's still well in the fucking distance. Alright. He's gonna start running. Yes? Yep, there he is. Okay. Might be able to bullshit this. I think I found the solution. Sprint to the finish. Here we go. You ready, fucker? I am. Come on. Yes! you that counts as beating the boss fight oh that was some bullshit <laughs> shit Okay. Alright, how bad of a situation are we dealing with here? Not bad. Not bad. Um... Yeah. We're, we're, we're not gonna... We're probably not even gonna need the hacking cable, because this looks like the end. I fucking hope it's the end. Ooh. Mix beta? Is it beta or is it beta? I know I'm gonna piss off a Brit in that one. Yeah! Alright, we got Deagle ammo again. We got four bullets! Uh, what am I looking at here? Got a pretty beat-to-hell area. Christ. Okay. Major. I'm on the roof of the dam. Yeah, that was about two hours, wasn't it? Overrun. 
I repeat, the Citadel's been overrun. The whole situation's Fubar. No survivors. Hold on. You gotta be fucking kidding. <clears throat> There's no way. Leave. Stop until the end. All right, is he still insta-gib? Nope. Oh. <laughs> that's on me. That That's... I goofed. I goofed. <sighs> okay. I need to, at the start of the fight, I need to scout out where items and ammo are. Because I'm seeing where all of the explosive barrels are, which is useful, but there were goodies on that side. And I need to see what's over there. Jeez! That didn't stop him at all. Okay, good chunk of handgun ammo. Fuck, that was a waste. That might be another ammo box. There we go, I'll take it. Alright, they're just going to give me infinite deagle ammo. I really wish I had grenades.
bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I think I'm just going to stock up on Desert Eagle ammo, which is something I never thought I'd be able to say. Yo! Please tell me I killed it. Why are we stop why have we stopped shooting? Keep shooting. He's gotten up several times now. You already put that shit hawk in a fucking coma. Major! Major! That's hard to believe. I didn't think Leave could get any nastier than he already was. He's not dead. He's not dead. Come on, we need to get out of here. The dam's gonna blow. Right, we better hurry. Right, because he's infected. Only one of us is walking away from here alive. Wait, do we get to play Sandman? <laughs> That'd be a the weird fucking twist. Is undeniable. Fortune favors the bold. I accomplished my mission at the first light of dawn, and for once in my existence, the best plan was to not have a plan. <laughs> Did you kill it? Aiden! How the hell did you... Where? Oh, no. Sorry to disappoint you, kid. I guess the great Sandman ain't so great after all. But after all of the lies lost, at least I managed to save one. What's going on? By all rights, you should be dead. And you're not. Wait. What? Who oh, did that to you? That fucking guy! Don't touch me! Stay away! Leave! He turned me into this freak! The antidote! I need it now! This? Give it to me now! Are you alright? 
Did it work? You bastard! You remember me? You... You mass-murdering piece of shit! I will never forgive you for taking her away from me! What? What the hell are you? Drop your gun right now! You fucker! <coughs> you killed her! Why?! What did my baby ever do to you? Hey, whoa, whoa, calm down. Too many people have died already. Why don't you drop the weapon so we can talk about it? Whatever happened, it's over. It's over. No! It's not over. Not by a long shot. Not until this... this guy pays for what he did to her. Listen, listen. I don't know you, sir. But you can trust me when I say... The man who did all this is dead. The Major's a hero. He risked his life. He risked his life? Huh? For what? To murder tens of people? Including my wife? Huh? I was there, soldier boy. I saw what he did to her. My baby. Now, I suggest you get the fuck out of my way, or you can go to hell with them! I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Drop your weapon, or I'm gonna shoot you where you stand. No matter what you think you saw. Stand down, Raven. Go stand down. It's you, isn't it? Samuel. How do you know my name? Because I know more than what you think. But the only thing you really need to know is that I'm truly sorry. I never meant to hurt her. Not intentionally. Your wife, she was one of the few people I could really count on to. What's that supposed to mean, huh? Huh? Who, who are you people? He's the one who ripped my arm off and broke my neck, baby. While you just stood by and watched me die. No, that's not what happened. That's not how... That's not... She's dead! Sam, baby, are we really gonna argue over semantics? Just look at yourself. You're nothing but a frightened lab rat. Shut up! That's all you want. Shut That's up. all you ever want. Shut the fuck up! Just shut your mouth. Samuel, I... Stop! Just don't say another goddamn word! These people know everything about you. Fight it, Samuel! They used you for their advantage. No! They this isn't real! Them. You She's dead! Any property. Don't listen to her, Samuel! the moment you were born. Damn it! The voice isn't Sarah! Well, <sighs> all right, I'm happy to say that I beat the game, but I'm very upset at the ending. <clears throat> With all of that effort, all of that shit. Uh, we're going to have to skip that, unfortunately. Because I don't want to get in trouble with copyrighted music. No, <sighs> oh, that's depressing. Sam and Sarah. So, hold on. Sandman knew Sarah. Why did we need the close-up on her arm? Uh, oh, what the fuck? Gene, signature confirmed. Welcome back, sir. Boot up the register. Ready to receive. Mission report, K731. Personal code, FG956-5061. Mission status completed. The material requested has been recovered. Of those involved, there's no one left. At least no one who knows what's really going on. I erased all traces of Kay's involvement. 
Hexacore Biogenetics will be blamed and held accountable for the mishap in keen sight. Good job, sir. Interesting. Kuronosu Enterprises. So clearly someone was playing all this shit against the middle. Okay, so Sandman betrayed his own guy. Evidence number really? Two, intercepted voice messages of Major Sandman Vulcan. Voice message with encryption code XDR00035. Sarah. I would have liked to speak with you in person, but I'm afraid that's just not going to happen. So this is it. The moment has arrived. You know, I told you that I'd do whatever it takes to protect her, and now I gotta prove just that. Prove it to myself, to you. Mostly prove it to her. My precious little angel, Samantha. In exactly seven days, my man and I will be deployed to the Aegis Labs to recover samples of Castor and Pollux. After which, you know what I have to do. Oh, I know what you're thinking right now. I know. So many innocent lives lost to save just one. But she's my baby girl. So listen up. I want you to leave Keen Sight, you and your Samuel, and get as far away from the city as possible. Years of destruction are already in motion, and nobody can stop them now. And even if they could, I wouldn't let them. So, if one day my conscience does feel a little less guilty, it'll only be because I've not only saved my daughter's life, but yours as well. I know you know what it means to truly love someone with every fiber of your being. And the choices you gotta make to hold on to that love, to be with that person and share one last day, one last minute, one last tantalizing second. <sighs> I couldn't live with myself knowing I didn't step up and do something, even if it means burning in hell for eternity. <sighs> that should come easy compared to a living hell without her. Hope one day you can forgive me. Okay. Number three, Sarah Carmichael's reporting to Sam Walker. Sam, sweetheart, I've been waiting for this day to come, wishing I didn't have to tell you the things you're about to hear. Yet, here goes nothing. The more elaborate the lie, especially one as grandiose and brazen as this, the more difficult it becomes to explain. I should have waited for you to come home, to speak with you in person, but I just can't do anything but record this. You won't be home before dark, by which time it'll probably be too late. There's a good chance they'll come here looking for me. <laughs> they. I guess you're wondering who I'm talking about. What I'm about to say will change your life forever. Change my life, too. What's happening, one way or another, was inevitable. But at the cost of many thousands of lives, it will also mean the end of our relationship. Listen to me. 
By now, all of Keen's sight is lost. He... He did it. He infected the whole goddamn town, sentencing the people here to a fate worse than death. He committed a truly unforgivable sin. The last hope for a crazy man being puppeted by even crazier people. The Kuronosu Company. I still don't understand how he could have done it. How anyone could have done it. Even him. Especially him. God damn you, Kuronosu. Hexacore. Damn you both to hell. bunch of filthy murderers. All of us. <sighs> Sam, listen. What I wanted to say, if I wasn't a coward, is that even though I've always loved you, I've never been completely honest with you. Beneath this city, behind your disease, lies a tangled web of secrets linked to the company. I would have told you sooner rather than being obliged by this tragedy, but I couldn't and wasn't ready yet. I was afraid of how it might affect us. Sorry. 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 It kills me to tell you this, but I'm not who you think I am. You already know that I work for Hexacore, but what you don't know is that my job isn't limited to mere administration. My field of expertise is actually the supervision of research studies, monitoring one of our most important tests, you. For decades now, our government has been experimenting in its own backyard, testing chemical weapons on an unsuspecting America. The project is called Truman, and Keen Sight is one of the most illustrious testing zones, with Hexacore overseeing the whole shebang since the 40s. You, and hundreds of others like you, are the end result of these tests, and we've been tasked with keeping you in check and gleaning as much data as possible about your condition. I can attest, however, that it took very little effort for you to become the most important part for me because because I actually fell in love with you and it wasn't just a job for me anymore so when someone asks if I love my work I tell them yes thanks to you I do and maybe that's why I've never had the courage to tell you before and more importantly I would never leave this place without you, of my own free will, if given the choice. Hold on. I hear something. There... There's somebody out there. Okay, that... changes a fair bit, actually. <laughs> Oh crap, we got her biotag. June 20th, 1991. I finally did it. I'm finally in charge of one of the most important research studies in the country. It took years to perfect the Truman Project together with those yes men at Hexacore. Maybe longer still to convince that Washington, D.C. dinosaur Murphy to put me in charge of the whole operation, due to their backwards way of thinking. I was either too young or too girly or too black, but in the end, they had no choice but to recognize the crowns of my achievements. In under 30 days, I'll be transferred to Keen Sight, and from the, what the company tells me, it'll be a one-way trip. And just maybe that's what excite me, excites me the most. <clears throat> Which, actually, yeah, that's very fitting. 1991, they're giving her shit because she's young, girly, and African-American. Yeah, that's very, very accurate. <laughs> <clears throat> January 4th, the very next year. I've only been here a few months, but I think I've already tucked myself snug as a bug in a, in, into this rural com snug as a bug into this rural community. Sometimes I feel a bit sorry for the people of Keenside, or maybe it'd be better to refer to them by their proper names, guinea pigs. 
Other times I envy them, their simple small town lives filled with small town values. After all, the company ensures they're safe inside their giant petri dish, close it off from all the shit of the outside world. I like to think I too have helped cre create a sort of paradise here. Or perhaps another circle of hell. I'm not sure yet. July 3rd, 93. The most difficult part of the Truman Project is officially underway, or at least in regards to my active role in the field. All the researchers stationed here must have frequent contact with the subject in order to control it, and I'm no exception to the rule. Indeed, I'll have to lead by example. At any rate, tomorrow I'll meet my special to be monitored, and judging from reports, it's clear that this won't possibly be the most important part in the whole study. I'll have to be on my best behavior once again. Meanwhile, I've been scratching my arm for days. Just because everyone got the same chip integrated into their arm doesn't mean it's a good thing. Oh, okay, that's why they showed the close-up on her dismembered arm and the chip and the, the big gouge in it. Gotcha. Just because everyone got the same chip integrated into their arm doesn't mean it's a good thing. After all, we're researchers, not the guinea pigs the government is experimenting on with a program. Unfortunately, those are the rules of the game, and I can't back out now. January 7th, 1994. Oh, Jesus, I haven't felt this good in years. The Truman Project is proceeding as planned, not to mention the experiments, too. I just can't hide my excitement thanks to the work I've been doing with my subject. That being said, this isn't exactly an official report. I can say my subject, Sam for short, the person I've been tracking and recently approached. I'm starting to think something peculiar is happening. I know I shouldn't get this attached, but the company asked me to get closer, so... And the heart wants what the heart wants, right? Where's the harm in that? Uh, fucking everything. You've been experimenting on this guy. <laughs> January, uh, February, March, April, May. Four months later. With the recent transfer of high-level personnel to the new office space atop the dam, we found ourselves butting heads with the men from Hexacore's special units. Mind you, Hades agents look like rock-hard war machines who seldom interact with anyone outside their circle. And the HAF pilots seem to be normal kids despite the demanding tasks the company often gives them. The one in particular seems to be catching the attention of all the office ladies. His name is Hayden, though everyone's been calling him Sandman after the mishap in Groom Lake. I have no idea how he made it out alive, but I'd like to know more. Uh, September. <clears throat> Hayden, what an extraordinary man. Oh boy, here we go. Even in face of the difficulties he's endured. Somehow, I got him to open up about his past again. Discovered that his wife left years ago because she couldn't bear the weight, not white, of his job. She even left him to care for their only daughter, baby Samantha. I really feel some kind of connection to this man. So much so, in fact, that I'm feeling exactly what I'm feeling for Sam. How I'm going to deal with this, only time will tell. I should probably just concentrate on my work. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Two years later, August 15th. I thought I could handle it. Instead, I wish I'd never gotten involved in this pile of poo. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Juvenile writing. I've been working on the Truman Project for the company for four years now, but it looks like this isn't going to end the way I thought it would. We didn't come here to pr improve people lives, people's lives. We came here to test weapons of mass destruction. If that weren't bad enough, even though we've signed away our lives to these Hexacorp bastards with the government backing, they still won't lift a finger to help us. Any of us. Hayden told me his daughter contracted a terrible disease and requires an experimental treatment the company just won't cover. That's why he's been so distant these past few months. I want to do something to help. I'll always feel close to him. Forever. In the meantime, at least some good news came from all this. Sam asked me to marry him. A beacon of hope in all this darkness that surrounds me. A reminder that there are more important things in life. Now I know whom my heart belongs to, and I need to devote my life to him. I need to do my job as effectively as possible to make him feel better. That was the next year, March 28th. I don't want to believe it, but Hayden asked me to meet him just outside town to reveal a scheme. There isn't much time left to save his daughter, and the only way he can do it is by committing an act so utterly despicable it borders on nefarious. It seems that Kurinosu, an international pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical company, bleh, I say that three times fast, made a deal with Hayden to save his daughter in exchange for the destruction of hundreds, if not thousands, of lives, along with Hexacore as a whole. 
worse still, it will bring our government to its knees by revealing the truth about experiments on the American people that have been ongoing for decades. He must have lost it, completely freaked out. Nothing, not even loss of a loved one can justify such a stupid and reckless decision. I'm pretty sure those bastards are using him. I just don't understand why the hell he doesn't see it. I need to talk some sense into him. I'm sure those are just the words of a desperate father, but if he doesn't listen to reason, I'll have no choice but to report him to the company's internal affairs department. But I don't know if I could live with what they do to him. You should have, bitch! July. Hayden left the base and took a few days leave. Sadly, his daughter Samantha didn't make it. Her little heart gave out just two days ago. I feel sorry for him, but this could be a blessing in disguise. Now he won't have any reason to enact that nefarious scheme of his. From what I gather, he's got a long journey to the medical center where she was being treated. Though I'm sure he'll come back soon. And when he does, I'll be there to support him in any way or in any way possible. So let me get this straight. She wanted the cake and ate it too. She's like, oh cool, here's this experiment guy who we're actively treating like a petri dish because he's a product of of daymare syndrome so i'm gonna convince him that he likes me oh cool here's this guy at the military base who's kind of hot but is willing to do some really dumb permanent shit to save his daughter who could die at any moment i should keep that a secret <sighs> this bitch was living on recruit difficulty and wonders why the fucking planet came down around her ears Oh, the daughter never died. Ha 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 Fuck you, Hayden. Sandman. Oh, you idiot. <sighs> Technically, I only died twice because I hit the skip button. I played on normal. I beat it in ten hours. <laughs> ten hours in a minute. Uh, which gave us an overall rating of B. I'm good with that. And, uh, yeah, all right, so that was Let's Play Daymare 1998. I'm <laughs> a little bit peeved. Okay, so overall, the gameplay was fun. I do kind of wish certain things were a little bit tweaked, they're slightly improved. But the game is a great deal of fun. Um, do I have complaints? Sure. The dialogue was kind of ass. And there were a lot of story elements that, as they occurred, really, really janky. Like Sam not taking his meds on time, and just some of the pacing and character decisions. I think one of the most important ones was... Um, hiding the fact that Sandman was trying to kill Liev, and Liev reacted faster than him. Like, that should have at least... Just me thinking about it, that I feel like that should have showed up a fair bit sooner. And a lot of those, oh, hey, here's what actually happened details, we should have been able to discover those. Um... Like, just having um, Sarah's confession to Sam be broken up into two cassette tapes so that by the time Sam gets there, and having Liev, or not Liev, having Sandman at the side of the body, right? But she's already dead, and the arm's been removed, and he's just standing over her rather than holding the body. So Sam sees the weird shape. He gets there, and there's Liev... Or, fucking Liev. He sees Sandman standing over the body, charges him. Sandman reacts, chucks him out the window. Why is she already dead? Did Sandman do it, right? That way we don't know for sure. Um, hinting to... <clears throat> Liev not being dead because of his gas mask failing when he was escaping. 
right? He's partially infected, but because of the H additive, it's making him a super soldier until Sandman kills him. And having that, it's like, okay, cool. Sam gets away from the hospital and having a short little cut scene of the Alpha team showing up, finding the body, and then he just murks them because he's infected, right? Little oh shit, things are going on concurrently sort of touches. But that's me being nitpicky, I will be honest. I did have a great deal of fun. Um, the only real hang-up spot was the boss fights against the Liev-type Hades caster. Uh, simply put, those were very half-baked. At the start of the fight, having the scientist say, you need to lure him over the electric ba over the electrode, that should disable him long enough. Because then it's, oh, well, now I have a reason to, A, walk him over the thing, and B, get back to that switch in time. Um, just a little nitpick. Additionally, his hitboxes during the hallway chase were bullshit. As well as the... Um, the quickly press any of the four WASD keys to get the door open. No. Go old school. Have me mash A and D to symbolize Raven winding the door open because it, the power is down because it's a lockdown or something like that, right? And having altered states where uh, Liev type 1 is running or walking where he'll tucker himself out and be exhausted but that's me bitching and moaning about gameplay stuff that i don't currently have the technical know-how to fix all of my opinion is based off of other games that i've played and things that i've enjoyed daymare 1998 was a fantastic experience from a out of nowhere indie developer that i hope has the opportunity to make more and better games in the future this was a really fun experience, and if you get the chance to play it yourself, it might be your cup of tea. I don't know. I just play video games and shitpost on Twitter. If you happen to enjoy this Let's Play, please by all means, hit subscribe, turn on notifications. I post videos every Wednesday and Saturday at 1230 Eastern Standard Time. And uh, now i got to figure out what game I'm going to play next. So, <laughs> until we meet again, folks. Stay classy, Internet.